module, we will be discussing how to install an EPDM drain flashing. We have four bolts and we have a flange. So we are going to be applying our sealing mastic to this flange. This drain head, as well as all drain heads on these systems, will require one full tube of sealing mastic. So we just installed one full tube of water block around on the top of the drain head and we kicked our rubber right over the top of the drain. Now it's time where we have to set the clamping ring and cut out for the drain outlet. The next spot we have to do is the mark for the drain bolts. There's a couple of ways we could do this. One is before we put the rubber over the top, we can hand thread in the bolts to make them easier to identify. In this case, I can actually push down and I'll be able to feel right where they are. So we're gonna cut the four holes for where the drain bolts go. We're just gonna mark these right now. Okay. After we've cut off our four holes, we'll set our drain ring into place and thread the bolts in. So what I'm gonna do is get them somewhat snug all first before I actually permanently tighten the bolts down. And by tightening the bolts, this will complete the compression from the drain ring down to the rubber with the water block underneath, preventing water from backing up underneath the drain and leaking. Once our drain ring is set, the next step is we have to cut the hole for the drain where the outlet is. So what we want to do is make a cut slightly bigger than what the drain pipe is. So what I like to do before I cut it is I like to make a trace on the membrane, marking where it is. After our ring is tight and all our bolts are secure and after we've cut in the hole for the outlet, the final step is installing the drain basket. 